At first, I was just going to make this video a clean, quiet, no commentary video, just an ode to Krom. Something beautiful. I changed my mind, obviously. But I've pretty much taken out all of the weapons that I wanted to originally and made videos on them, and they turned out awesome. But this one's a bit different. It's completely unscripted. It's simple. It's quick. Hopefully, it's not terrible. So now, we're back with the Krom. My very first video, I did look at the Krom, and I liked it, but I didn't love how slow it was but I know how incredibly delicious this weapon is. So I wanted to take it out again and just look at how quickly this thing is slaying this Seeker. Yeah, it takes a lot of stamina, but this Seeker soldier is dying so quickly. And of course I have to dodge ticks or just this random one. <laughs> But the Krom video is what started it all for me, so I wanted to take this guy back out and just play with it. I'm not testing it out, I'm just slaying some Seekers. No fancy, beautiful, wonderful conclusions here, just some absolute delicious Krom carnage. Blood for the exclusive sake of blood. Or I guess whatever Seekers have in their veins. Wait, I don't know anything about insect anatomy. Jeez, should I have paid more attention in that class? Because, oh wow, I, I've totally taken Insect Biology 101 and 102 and AP Insect, but no, I haven't. Uh, yeah, let me just go ahead and Google search that real quick. I don't know. Seeker blood, we're going to go with it. It's good enough. But I'm just, I'm still just so impressed with this weapon. It is slow, yeah. But obviously, I'm just absolutely slaying these soldiers. And I'm actually interested because what's weird is I never have that many Seeker soldiers come about. It's always just like, occasionally a Seeker like this one, and then occasionally another Seeker. I've been having trouble finding anything lately. So, I mean, making this video, I made it in like, I don't know, half an hour, just finding Seekers, and I just kept finding more and more and more. But the soldiers were just so plentiful. I don't know, maybe the lands that I've been pillaging have actually regrown. I don't know, it's just, I usually have trouble finding enemies to fight and it takes me quite a while, but no. All of these clips were actually recorded in the last hour from when I'm actually recording this audio. This is definitely the least planned, most messy video I've made, but honestly, I'm having fun. I don't always have to make something that's really thoughtful, really well curated and edited and just researched. I don't know, this is fun. And obviously I'm kind of running out of video ideas because the whole purpose of me making videos was to test different weapons that I just never used in my playthrough, which I've already mentioned, stop reiterating yourself. But I do have some basic video ideas. I'm going to test the, uh, the Fenris armor and the Fenris stuff, and I've never actually done any of that because I never found any ice caves except for one in my playthrough. So I'm gonna do a video on that. I keep hearing about the, um, the root armor and how effective it is against Seekers, so I'll probably create something on that. I have probably five or six different video ideas, but I still just love going out and slaying Seekers. And actually, as you see right here, it started to get really chaotic. I have no stamina, I've got four Seekers attacking me, three Seekers and one soldier. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. This doesn't have to be anything fancy. I'm having fun and I just, I love slaying Seekers and just playing with the different weapons and showing you all my wonderful and terrible skills because that matters. Yeah, this uh, this encounter did get quite chaotic, but I manage. I do the whole circly circly thing, which is just me regaining stamina. They're already pretty much dead anyway. I like swords in that they give you quite the sweep, as you can see. 26 health, not ideal. I push the 7 key because I have the health potion on my hotbar. I I don't think I like it, I have to be honest. Hotbar makes me take my fingers off of either my mouse or my keyboard, and I can't just reach up and push the 7 button, and I need my weapons on 1, 2, 3, so I just, I don't know if I like hotbar. But, I mean, realistically, if I don't have them on my hotbar, I have to push tab and use my mouse to do that. So, I mean, I'm giving up something either way. So, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll decide on something, and you'll probably hate me. And I'll hate me, too. <laughs> I quickly encounter this other Seeker right here, and another one joins the party. I'm still recovering from that previous encounter, but of course, the Krom is a beast and a half. And these things, th these Seekers just didn't even touch me. 
Here we are again, floating down onto, once again, hey look, it's another Seeker Soldier. I just, again, I think it's, I feel like they're never this easy to find, but they're just everywhere right now. And I'm, I feel like I'm finding more soldiers than regular Seekers. It's amazing. It's not a bad thing at all because the Krom is an absolute beast, and yes, an absolute unit, so they can, it just handles everything, and it handles them very well, despite my sometimes moderate, mostly just meh, but oftentimes kind of good skills. Yeah, maybe I'm not completely terrible. I mean, the more I do this, the better I get. I think it's just more into the realm of conscious competence, if you know the scale there. But yeah, another Seeker soldier dead. Let's continue this adventure. But yeah, I don't need to cut here because right in the mist, we have another Seeker joined by another Seeker. And you guessed it, another Seeker. Wow, look at this. Imagine that. I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Maybe I just use the Krom to absolutely slay them? Yeah, they stood no chance whatsoever. I feel like the Krom sword is just, it's designed to go through Seeker Carapace as if it were a hot knife through butter, which is, I mean, are we assuming that the butter is frozen? Why, wait, why would we freeze butter? But let's say chilled? Or is it room temperature? Because, I mean, anything will go through room temperature butter. For my head cannon, let's say this butter is in the fridge, and it's been in the fridge for a couple hours. You know how that goes. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's, it's basically a hot knife through that kind of butter. Why am I talking about this? Let's talk about what's going on. We have three Seekers here. Well, actually, two Seekers now. They keep pushing me back, or else I probably would have killed them a lot quicker. <laughs> yeah, uh, they're just, they're, I mean, their lives are just toast. They are basically toast. Oof, now I want toast. You know, I actually have an opinion on toast. I know this is stupid, but I feel like toast is one of those things that is just so incredibly underrated. It's one of my favorite foods of all time. I know it's weird, but it's it's just, it's so delicious. Um, and you, you never really think about it until you haven't had toast for a while, and then you have toast, and then, you know, you realize, oh, it's really delicious. I probably should talk about this one star. It died so quickly. That's really it. I mean, Krom, let's just win all the things. Yeah, anyway, toast. Toast is good. Why am I talking about this? This is a fun final encounter for this video. It's just another secret soldier, and of course, you know how it's gonna go. Uh, let's go ahead and just spoiler alert, I kill it. I don't know if you heard that, but it, it does die. Uh, sorry for the spoilers. People who spoil things like details in movies and series and stuff like that are pretty much the absolute worst human beings of all time. You can't be that guy. You can't be that person who just says, hey, I'm gonna ruin things for you. Don't be that person. Be a good person. That's really all we should ever strive for in life, right? I think so. Yeah, uh, I'm realizing that this is an extremely unhinged video and none of this matters. It's just, it really is just an ode to the Krom Sword. It's such a beautiful weapon and it's so much fun to play with. Uh, forgive the weird garbage commentary and the stuff that doesn't matter. Maybe this is fun. I kind of had fun with this. Maybe you enjoyed this as well. Um, I like how quickly and easily it actually killed all of these ticks. Some of the weapons that I've tested just troubles. But this one, it's just, it slices right through them. I mean, not like other things don't. But yeah, thanks for watching. That's really it. Uh, if you kind of enjoyed this, let me know. If you never want me to make anything like this ever again, please tell me. Thank you so much for 100 subscribers lately. I'm so appreciative of you guys. Thanks. Have a wonderful rest of your day.